It was scary, Dan. It was uh, really scary. Uh, cameraman uh, Heiser and I were caught in the middle of this uh, battle, uh, and the truth is that it was uh, scary. We kind of uh, were expecting it because there was a lot of security, the warning that this could happen. There were meetings where they asked Barcelona players not to celebrate because the rivalry between Espanyol and Barcelona is huge, clinching the La Liga title here and, and uh, Espanyol being in such a desperate uh, situation to avoid relegation. It, it, could be some incident, but the truth is it was it was very scary because it was hundreds of uh, fans uh, very angry, uh, looking to to hurt the players. Uh, uh, the players were already inside, so just there was just some incidents with security persons, and and thankfully there was no no other thing. We were able to talk to the players, and they said that uh, they they ran really fast mm. inside, and there was no other incident. They are gonna celebrate it tomorrow with a huge parade in the streets of Barcelona with a bus uh, and then uh, next Saturday uh, in the game uh, before the game against Real Sociedad they will leave the trophy it will be Sergio Busquets himself the captain who will leave the club at the end of the season who will be the, the person lifting that uh, 27th La Liga title and Gemma as you mentioned obviously there were meetings ahead of this game it wasn't difficult to foresee this actually happening why didn't we see stronger security more on the perimeter of the field to stop these fans getting on the pitch that's a good question because uh, we've been told the uh, whole week and we have seen that, that there was uh, security rings outside the stadium in the pregame and it's true that the pregame was absolutely uh, with no incidents and a lot of security. But then in the stadium, uh, something failed. I think uh, that, that there was much more security than usual, but the truth is that also there was thousands of fans trying to get in the, in the field. So it's, uh, it's, I guess it's a mix of a failure of the security and maybe a lot of angry uh, fans that wanted to, to hurt the uh, Barcelona players. Yeah, this seems, as you say, Jim, it must have been scary to experience pitch side. Uh, but overall, as you mentioned, Barcelona will celebrate yeah. with an open top bus uh, parade tomorrow, then the trophy lift uh, next weekend, yeah? And then the celebrations, I suppose, can really start. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, the Barcelona players are inside the, the stadium right now. We just finished the, the flash interview area. They asked us to go really quick because they wanted to take a commemorative picture. Now they will take a regular bus. They have the cars in the Sport City, Juan Gamper. And I'm almost sure that there will be thousands of Barcelona uh, fans there wanting to start the celebrations. Then tomorrow, 6 p.m. Spanish time, there is a, a parade. They will uh, start in the Camp Nou and then they, they will go with this uh, open bus until Arc du Triomphe in, in, in Barcelona and they will be like, uh, it, it's about three hours celebration and, and then they will have a private uh, dinner and eventually the, the lifting of the trophy uh, just before the game against Real Sociedad. I guess they will be the guard of uh, honour the, uh, for the players of Real Sociedad and, and it's an important title for 15 of these players. They have never lifted a La Liga title and for the fan base as well. Since 2019 they didn't uh, lift this trophy and they haven't been able to do a parade since 2018. This is because the last Liga title 2019 it was just before that semi-finals of the Champions League so they decided not to celebrate if they knew what would happen in Anfield where Liverpool mm -hmm. came uh, th that famous comeback maybe they should have done the parade and, and go to Liverpool who knows. Uh, Jim we saw you speaking to quite a few of the players um, after the game what did they have to say about the incident? Well, most of them, uh, um, they, they just said that they... The, uh, security asked them to go very fast. We talk about Mark andre Ter Stegen, one of the, the captains, and um, he was very reasonable, saying that uh, they, they didn't suffer any kind of uh, injury, nothing, and that he somehow justified that because uh, he, he understands that Espanyol is in a very uh, difficult moment, that uh, they just went fast, and, and they, he didn't want to uh, uh, put more strong words uh, regarding uh, that, and that they will celebrate with the fans, and he 
didn't want to give importance to that. And that was the main message of the of, the, of all the players, of uh, Xavi Hernandez, just to... Uh, they knew they, they weren't supposed to celebrate because of the big rivalry and the complicated situation. It's the first time in history that Barcelona clinched La Liga title in home of the worst uh, enemy of Espanyol. It's Barcelona. So uh, they, they were somehow comprehensive with the, with the fact that this uh, awful incident, a scary, uh, happened in, here in the in RCD Stadium. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.